Okay, YouTube, um, this is my 37, it's my 37 week update. I'm actually going to be 38 weeks in two days, um, but I haven't done a video in so long because I had my cousin visiting for a week and I didn't want to take time away from doing that to do my vlog. Um, so I'm <clears throat> doing this today, a little late. Um, I'm going to do another one probably do it Friday. Um, I have my next appointment tomorrow. So I'll do I'll do my 38 week on Friday, two days from now, and it'll be my 38 week update. So this is my 37 week update. Um, so quite a few things have changed now. Um, intense pressure all the time. Uh, like it, it's it hurts so bad. There's my cat. It hurts so bad. Um, like I can feel the ache in my bones, and it feels like I've been pud busted, and like it just hurts all the time. Um, um, yeah. So, isn't she so pretty? Um, yeah. So. Um, ignore the crazy music in the background. My daughter is watching cartoons. Um, yeah, so, I'm really out of it, sorry. Uh, I'll try to, like, stay on topic. Um, so, yeah, I have really bad pressure pains, and, um, I've noticed that every night after my husband and I have sex, it, I wake up about an hour later with intense pains and it's really strange because I don't know if it's contractions it's so weird because like this is my second baby so I know what contractions feel like and it feels like the same as a contraction except it's constant like it doesn't come and go it's just there and it doesn't really get worse it's just really painful and, uh, I mean, this happened a few nights ago, and I was try and I had acid reflux at the same time, so I was trying to sleep in the baby's room, I was trying to sleep in the chair, sitting up to stop the acid reflux, but the amount of pressure I was feeling was so much worse because I was sitting, so at like 2 in the morning I decided to take a bath, which, I mean, it helped while I was in the bath, but then... When I got out, it was still painful again, and, uh, you know, lie down and end up falling asleep, so, and this has happened five or six times, like, for the past month, like, every, every time we have sex, an hour later, I'm in the most pain, and it just ends up, like, I fall asleep, I just end up falling asleep, and then when I wake up, it's gone, but when I wake up, I still have that pressure feeling, just not the cramping. So I'm really not sure, like, what's going on. I called the, like, it was so bad, when was it, last night? No, night before last night. It was so bad that in the morning, yesterday morning, I called the hospital and talked to the nurse at the labor and delivery and asked her what she thought. And she was no help at all, really. All she said was, oh, it's probably just the baby pushing down and your bones starting to separate. That's probably what you're feeling. And she says, you know, if you're really concerned, you can bring it up with your doctor at your next appointment. And that was pretty much it. Like, she, like, I don't know. I'm just, like, in so much pain all the time now where I am, like, so ready to have this baby. And I'm sick of all these pains where it's, like, I don't know, it feels like a contraction, but there's no, like, t I can't time it because it's just hurting all the time. So I'm, like, sick of this, like, pre-game show stuff. Like, I just want it to happen, you know? It's, um, starting to drive me insane. Um, I've been having a lot of discharge lately. I've been having to wear panty liners, like, all day and at night time, everything. Um, which is kind of odd. Like, with my first, with my daughter, I didn't really... My discharge was normal, like, same as always. It didn't really increase much at the end, except when I started losing my mucus plug. 
Um, which is another update. I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video or not. I can't remember. But um, I started losing my mucus plug in like little pieces. And it, <clears throat> sometimes it's hard for me to tell if it really is my mucus plug because I know a lot of people lose it in like one chunk. And it's pretty obvious when it's one chunk. But for me, it's been like... There's been a couple instances where I find like a glob. And then other times where it's just like really thick discharge you know what I mean so I'm pretty sure it's my mucus plug like because I've gone through it once already I'm pretty sure that's kind of what it was like with my first two I lost it in like you know over a few days or whatever um but my doctor won't check for dilation until I'm 40 weeks so I have no idea if there's anything going on down there so at my next appointment two days from now I'm gonna like ask him to check me anyways just because just for my own curiosity you know what I mean because of the amount of pressure that I'm feeling and the amount of cramping that I'm getting at, like at night after sex I'm really curious to know if there's something going on and if I'm losing my mucus plug doesn't that mean I'm starting to dilate I don't know not really sure some people say that you can lose it like without dilating but um so other than that <laughs> Baby's still here. Baby's still kicking. Not as much, though. She's kind of quieted down a lot. Not wiggling as much. Um. But, yeah. Um. And I can't even really tell if she's dropped or not. My last appointment. Um. My computer's starting to lag out. Great. Um. My last appointment, the doctor said she was definitely head down and more than likely, like, right on my bladder. Uh, but that doesn't really tell me if she's dropped or not, so I don't really know. Uh, but with the amount of pressure that I'm feeling, either she's really big or she's dropped, I don't know. Um, and I haven't had an ultrasound since 20 weeks, so there's no way, like, the only way for me to know, like, about how much he weighs is for him just to, you know, by feeling measurements and everything, he's just guessing. Um... So, yeah, I'll do the belly shot. Hopefully, it'll work with this, like, crazy lag going on. Sorry about that. My computer's been kind of slow and weird lately. Yeah, see, it hurts so bad to get up. Like, ugh. It hurts. Alright. Try to get this angled right. There's the belly. Pretty much 38 weeks, but we'll just say 37. And I've gotten a new stretch mark. These are old ones down here from my first pregnancy. And then this little dark one, I don't know if you can see, but up here they're darker and those are like they kind of connected on but this one right where this right here in the past like two days it was only half that length before and all of a sudden like it jumped up and got bigger and my belly button from my surgery looks like one giant stretch mark now it's gross so yeah that's the belly and like i said i am extremely ready to have this baby any day now would be perfect <laughs> so take care and I'll do my next update in two days